Coal basically has been able to give us the freedoms that we enjoy because of a dependable, uh, cost-effective energy over two, de uh, two uh, centuries, basically. We've been able to fight wars, we've been able to build an industrial might, we did all these things using the energy of coal. And you see us doing the first commercial sequestration at Mountaineer Plant AEP. We're going to show that can be done. We have Alstom and Dow Chemical Company partnering up in Charleston, West Virginia, doing a large commercial exhibit, basically showing that they can be able to uh, retrofit every pulverized coal plant that we have in the country or around the world and hopefully do it very cost effectively. We're leading on the leading edge of technology trying to find answers to solve the problem, but we can't do it if the federal government keeps putting barriers up because they have not been able to convince everybody that coal is so bad. Right. That's the problem, okay? So if we know that coal is going to be used to the transition to the fuel of the future, which could be at least 30 years or a little more, then let's use it to the best advantage for the United States of America until we get that new fuel of the future. That's the common sense approach we're bringing to it.